Pre-order the Clownfish TV comic book right now on Indiegogo. Go to clownfishtvcomic.com. That's clownfishtvcomic.com. This is a fun collection of all new comic strips based on dumb stuff we've said on the show. Again, that's clownfishtvcomic.com. You're going to have to hurry. We're only taking pre-orders for a limited time. Now we're going to get back into the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, talk about buyer's remorse. The the former CEO of Yahoo could have bought Netflix or Hulu instead of Tumblr. Oh, sweetie, yeah, that was dumb. Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna talk about that. This is uh, Marissa Mayer. She said that Yahoo should have bought Netflix or Hulu and not Tumblr. Yeah, they bought Tumblr for over a billion dollars, if I remember, and they devalued it so much that it sold for three million bucks by the end of it. And that was before the tech bubble burst. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about like woulda, coulda, shoulda, and uh, God, it's amazing. We're even talking about Yahoo at all. Like Yahoo should have died 15, 20 years ago, but somehow, Somehow, yeah. Well, Yahoo's, Tumblr so, should have been gone too, but here we, yeah. but it's still here. Not like it was, but it's still here. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like somewhere out there, GeoCities is probably still a thing. I don't know. I haven't checked. We're gonna talk about it before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, we do talk about tech news sometimes. We've talked about Tumblr. That's why we're doing the story. We've talked about Netflix and Tumblr. And again, you know, Tumblr sold for a ton of money and then it was completely worthless by the time Yahoo well, got done with it. to be it. fair, that's because they took porn off of it. Like, it. I mean, let's be honest here. And it was a toxic it dumpster was. fire. That's okay. They yeah. All the toxic people went to Twitter, which is what happened to Twitter. And that's what happened to Twitter too. I think uh, Musk way overpaid for it. But um, yeah, this came out yesterday. I think yesterday or the day before that Marissa Mayer said that Yahoo could have done better by buying Netflix instead of Tumblr. We looked at a transformative acquisition and we bought Tumblr. Tumblr, uh, she said to Tech Brew. At the same time, we were also considering whether it was possible to buy Hulu or, ironically, Netflix. And I think Netflix was four billion, and Hulu was 1.3 billion at the time. Basically, the same price as Tumblr. You could have had Hulu for the price of Tumblr, and either of those, with hindsight being 2020, would have been a better acquisition. Uh, <laughs> This is why she's the former CEO. I don't know. The former CEO. I don't know that's why, but Yahoo paid 1.1 billion for Tumblr in 2013. So they could have had paid just a couple billion more or a couple million more and paid for uh, Hulu or just, you know, a 3 billion more for Netflix. Oh my God. The company started bringing ads to Tumblr and pushed employees to meet unrealistic sales goals. 2016, Yahoo wrote down Tumblr's value by 230 million. Uh, after Verizon acquired a struggling Yahoo, things only went downhill from there. The prevalence of child porn on the platform, CP, uh, led to Tumblr's temporary removal from the App Store. Tumblr responded by banning all sexual content. A month later, users began leaving because they wanted their CP and their sexual mm -hmm. content. Well, they were also being overly cautious the other way, too, and, and banning images that weren't bad, I remember. There was uh, concept art from the Dragon Prince and... I the think, dragon was naked, so they they banned it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They're like, oh my god, this is a naked baby, and it's like, no, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's dragon. a dragon. It's a dragon, dummies. Uh, users began leaving the platform in droves, with traffic dipping by thirty percent in twenty nineteen. Verizon offloaded Tumblr to the owner of WordPress for less than three million dollars. Let that sink in, and, and I'm like, this is this is crazy. So in six years time in six years time we went from 1.1 billion to less than three million that is less than a house in california for the cost of a california house you could have had all of tumblr well, it depends where you're at but yes you know how and, big uh even though yahoo never acquired hulu or netflix it did have a brief stint in original streaming video with yahoo screen i don't remember that uh, and they did do i do remember that they did the uh, sixth season of community uh, sixth season of it. For the record, Yahoo could very well have screwed up a Netflix or Hulu acquisition. It probably would have been a lot That's harder. That's true. To they do. could have they could have ruined it. We wouldn't have Netflix or Hulu as we know it today. That is uh, true. Possible. That is um, that is fair. Because everything Yahoo touches turns to crap. So they would have had to deal with uh, deal with the writer's strike and everything too. That's true. You know now. So but, they, but still, that would have been better than losing like almost the entire value of your purchase. Yeah, that is true. I, I I, mean, this is literally one of the biggest F-ups in tech. But the thing is, is, I think it also showed us 
how overvalued these platforms were because, I mean, we're seeing the same thing with BuzzFeed thinking they're worth billions of dollars and Vice News thinking they're worth billions of dollars. And then the reality is, you know, they were trying to, I mean, this is, this is Yahoo and Verizon. They couldn't even monetize it with ads effectively. No, but what killed it wasn't even something they did. It was what no. killed it was the users, which is what we're seeing a lot. Like a lot of these, these places start out really good to start with good intentions, start out as a positive place. And then the users kill it. Yeah. So this person here in the comments says, I'm not commenting on Tumblr since I'm not sure how one could utilize this potential. There isn't any. It basically attracts toxic weirdos, toxic stands. And now they're all on Twitter. And they're Reddit. Get, they're getting drowned out, though. I think what, what's amazing with, with Twitter, and I've noticed a difference. You know, I've been back the last couple of days. Just in the last month or two, because of the verification, because of the blue check, like the blue check comments appear above the randos. So the randos don't get nearly as much traction as they used to. They used mm -hmm. to be able to scream and scream and scream. And most of them are not going to have the balls to verify themselves and or they're not going to do it because it's their protest. Like they're not going to give Elon Musk money. We're going to park it on the platform and give him interaction that he can sell to advertisers. We Pretty are, much. That's we what are, he's doing. Yeah, we are the product, right, that he's going to sell to advertisers, but we're going to protest by not giving them eight bucks, and then nobody's going to see your tweets. Mm -hmm. so but he I, still benefits from you. He still benefits from you, right? Um, anyway, they said, yeah, they definitely would have screwed it up. This kind of reminds me of how Disney was going to buy Twitter. Remember how, when Disney was going to buy Twitter? Yes, and they said they, they didn't because it was too toxic. It was too toxic. And that was before Tumblr went out and everybody went from Twi Tumblr to Twitter. So I have to wonder, like, because they sold to WordPress. It wasn't like they put it up for, for sale. I have to wonder if they didn't just do this deal. Like nobody else was going to take Tumblr. Like they knew nobody else was going to take Tumblr. They didn't want to go there. Because Ironically, of, people are saying Tumblr's not that bad now. Nobody's on it. Like nobody's on I, I pop in occasionally, but like nobody's really using it now. So as they again, what's they all, the point of having it? Why pay? I think they were paid then paying three, three million for it. We're because uh, our site is uh, our sites are WordPress powered. Right. Um, it automatically you know, it's the name of the company too, on Mac, but you actually can auto post to Tumblr. And I go out there occasionally to check numbers and stuff. And I'm like, it's a ghost town, man. It is just like, I mean, I'm sure there are like private corners of Tumblr that I do not want to go to, but for the most part, compared to what it was, it reminds me of like end stage geo cities. You know, they completely killed it. And that just shows like, again, you know, back to what you're saying about uh, audience, basically a platform is only worth what its audience brings yeah, but to it. What's sad is every time you build up an audience, it's a positive big thing and it's built up to big. That's what attracts these people because they're like, oh my God, a soapbox. I can't build my own soapbox. So I'm going to go push you off and steal your soapbox. And they come in and they just like take what was nice and just turn it into this, you know, dystopian dumpster fire of <laughs> bullshit and then then like we own it now we are the king of the crap and then it ruins the value of whatever the platform was well it's kind of funny because the the alternative to twitter was uh, supposed to be mastodon but most of these people are too dumb to know how to use mastodon but mastodon announced the other day they're going to make logging in easier so all the dumb people from twitter can go over to mastodon and mess that up mm -hmm. you know good luck with that but that's the, the thing people don't understand what the tech companies all these blogs and all that the end goal was to build an audience and then sell off high, yeah. as high as you could. Or to monetize you while they could and then sell it off. You were always the product. They don't understand that. They're, they don't understand. So they don't, that's why they don't stop these people from coming in and taking over the sub box and bringing yeah. all their friends. Because the more drama, the more interaction, the engagement, the more money they make. Yes. Potentially. Unless it goes like Tumblr and it went too far the other way. But as soon as they took their porn away, it turned it into a ghost town. Let's be honest. That's what was keeping Tumblr afloat. Oh, boy. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.